Simone Biles is the most decorated American gymnast of all time, and has been the most dominant athlete in the sport since 2013. She has a combined total of 30 Olympic and World Championship medals, and is expected to add a handful more at the upcoming Tokyo Olympics. But sometimes, we forget she's only human, and even the greatest gymnast of all time struggles with performing certain skills from time to time. In this video, we'll take a look at combos Simone Biles eventually stopped performing. In 2019, Simone upgraded her floor routine by introducing a new combo as her second pass, a Biles 1 followed by a front layout, worth .2 in bonus. She had been playing around with this combination since 2016 at least, but never implemented it into her routine. Especially up until 2016, the American gymnast was known for only introducing upgrades when they were really consistent. She and her former coach kept it safe for the Rio Olympics, since she didn't really need the extra tents. But after her post-Olympics hiatus, Biles went all out. Simone only performed this combo in competition once though, at the 2019 GKUS Classic. She most likely wanted to test the waters and see how it would go in an actual competition environment. Unfortunately, she landed completely out of bounds, which cost her at least 0.3 tenths. She ended up removing this combo for championships a couple weeks later, because it was probably too difficult for her to keep in bounds. Biles went back to her previous combo. Instead of the front layout, she did a stag jump, which only gets .1 in bonus, but it's way more consistent and easier to control. After removing the double twisting double layout from her routine in 2019, due to the inconsistency of her landings, Simone briefly performed a double layout with a full twist immediately connected to a split jump, worth .1 in bonus. Overall, both passes add the same value, but the latter allows her to avoid major landing deductions by jumping out of it. The American athlete only performed it once in competition too, at the 2019 GK US Classic as her first tumbling run. A couple of weeks later, she debuted the triple twisting double tuck, now known as the Biles 2 on floor and worth a full point, removing this one from her routine completely. Although Simone is not really known for her twisting passes with a single somersault on floor, rather than for her double saltos, her floor routine composition was quite different back in 2013. Her third pass included a layout with two and a half twists directly connected to a front layout, worth .1 in bonus. In 2014, she even upgraded this by adding a full twist to the front layout, which would raise her start value by a tenth, and added a straddled jump at the end to avoid landing deductions. Even though this combo was rather consistent for her, she changed it completely in the second half of the 2014 season. Biles introduced a double layout as her third acro line, which consists of a double salto backward in a stretched position. The new skill had overall the same value as her previous combo, but Simone was most likely setting up her 2016 gold winning Olympic routine, two years in advance. In 2015, she added a full twist to the double layout, raising the value by two tenths. By removing the front layout completely, the world champion had to include a forward skill in the middle of her routine to fulfill the compositional requirement of having elements in different directions. She went with an aerial cartwheel at first, and then switched to an aerial walkover, both valued at A. These skills are not amongst the top eight counting elements, and only serve the purpose of fulfilling the requirement. Before the layout with two and a half twists to front layout was her third tumbling pass, Simone was performing a layout step out with one and a half twists to a double pike. This indirect connection was worth .1 in bonus, but she was almost too powerful and lacked control over her landings, which seemed to be a common issue earlier in her career. In early 2013, she actually changed the double pike to a full twisting double tuck. Not only was she now counting an E skill instead of a D, 
It also gave her an extra tenth in connection value. However, this one didn't last either. She changed her third acrobatic line to the two and a half to front layout as previously mentioned. Since 2018, Biles has performed a very similar looking but slightly different acro line. It consists of a front layout step out with a full twist to the full twisting double tuck. This pass seems to be working really well for her, and it has a high connection value. Do you wish Simone would bring any of these combos back?